Digital freebies are a great way to provide additional value to your subscribers in exchange for their email address. Now, in MailerLite, you cannot attach things like PDF files to your emails, but you can use things like OneDrive or Dropbox or Google Drive to provide your subscribers with those PDF files. Now, in this example, I'll be using Google Drive, but these principles apply to most online storage providers, so you should be good to go. Now let's go. So I'm going to start with going to my Google Drive right over here where I created a folder called freebies and I uploaded a file called special report. It's a PDF file. Of course, you might have a different view like this one, but it doesn't really matter. If you right click and click share, you'll be able to set up your sharing options. Click change. If you have a business account, usually this will be the default. And what you need to do is click your company name and instead of the, your company name, change this to anyone with the link. Here you have viewer, commenter and editor. Just leave this as viewer. You can copy the link here and then click done. Now what I suggest you do is open up an incognito browser or a private browser and input that link here and click enter. And you just want to make sure everything loads up just fine. And then you can also just test if you're able to download this over here. Okay, that looks good. I'm just going to go ahead and cancel this. And I'm going to go back to my MailerLite account. All right, now I can use that link. I can go to forms. And here I created a freebie form. I'm going to click overview. And now I'm going to go to double opt in over here. Make sure double opt-in is turned on. I have a whole video about that. Just go ahead and watch that if you need more information about this. If you have double opt-in turned on, you'll have additional features that you can use here, which is this confirmation email. This is what your subscribers will get once they sign up to your account. They need to confirm this email to actually be signed up. And when they do that, they will go to the confirmation thank you page. And this is where you can put your freebie into. You can click edit content and here we have some text. For example, we can write download your freebie or your report here. Then we can double click, for example, here, click link, insert link, insert the URL we just created, open link in new tab. That's what I always like to use. Click insert and there we go. Now, this is a little small. So if we want something bigger, we can just use a big button, for example, here, and we can type in download your report and put the URL here and then click open link in new tab, click save. And there you go. Once you're done, you can go ahead and click save. And now once someone subscribes, they get this confirmation email and if they click that email, they will be taken to the confirmation thank you page where they will have that button or that link to your report. Now, if you don't want to use this confirmation thank you page and have a landing page with a link to that report, you can just go ahead and click here, input your landing page, click save changes and you're ready to go. Now, another way of doing this is to create an automation. So when someone signs up to your list through this form, you can go ahead and click create an automation. It will automatically create an automation when a subscriber completes a form. This is the freebie form here. Here it is, the freebie form. And now you can click plus email special report. That's the name special report for the subject and design email. Now you can use the template gallery, but I'm going to start from scratch, drag and drop. And here in this email, you have a button or you can add your own button, download report, put in that link again and click save. Click done editing. And now when someone subscribes through your freebie form, they will get an email with that special report. Of course, you can also go ahead and go back and create a special landing page by going to sites, landing pages and create site. 
We have a whole video on that. You can go ahead and view that. And for inspiration, you can go to MailerLite Gallery Landing Pages and just have a look at all these landing pages over here. Look at the landing pages for your specific industry over here to get some inspiration. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Again, thank you for watching. If you need more help, contact us directly or join our academy and learn all the ins and outs of MailerLite. All the details are in the description. See you there and have a wonderful day.